The Dragiri are technically aliens coming to this planet a long, long time ago, about 60,000 years before any human set foot on the planet of Adder. However, they're about the closest thing to an actual native species on the planet. A long time ago, they were split into the Altegran Masters, little diminutive high technology guys, and the Katarl, these giant, you know, 15 foot tall monsters that did all their, uh, all their menial tasks. Somewhere along the line, something bad happened and all the caves collapsed and they got trapped down below. Well, time moves forward and eventually the big guys realized that if the little guys didn't have the technology, well, they don't have to be slaves anymore. And there was a little bit of a rebellion and uh, now you've got these Dragiri true-born warriors, glory to the end, victory over all other things, and then little diminutive slaves as the roles have reversed. Since these roles had reversed and the technological superiority of the Altegran went away, the Dragiri Trueborn have really kind of become a more shamanic, almost mystical society. And they've broken up into their separate sub-factions where all based off of the different elements that they kind of embody or worship. The air cast uh, is an all-female cast. They dance around the battlefield. They have a lot of thrown weapons, a lot of knocking their opponents down and taking advantage of that. Uh, there are, is almost no other army in the game that has the same kind of agility and dexterity that the air cast Dragiri do. Conversely, the ice cast Dragiri, formerly known as the water cast, until they got, well, until they got beat up and they needed to harden up and become the ice cast, they are mostly martial warriors. Up close, very little subtlety involved. Axes, swords, they run out, they get in that one-on-one -on -one combat and bring glory to their cast by, you know, victory through arms. The fire cast, they're kind of, they, they sort of play on the opposite side of both of those other casts in the way that close combat is cool and they like it, but they have found over the years that using some of that old Altegran technology is a huge benefit. So having lasers and fire cannons and pistols and things, victory is maybe a little better than the, uh, the glory itself. You know, the, the winner gets to write the history, so to speak. Crawling up from below, the nightmares the Jagiri told their kids about is the shadow cast. They are tricky warriors using poison and blinding people and wounds that won't stop bleeding. In game terms, they've got all kinds of status effects that affect the enemy models that if they can't just outright kill you, they make it hard for you to play your game. They have some of the best hit and run style tactics where they get in, do some damage, and then get out and laugh at you while you crawl after them. Finally, the Earth Cast. The Earth Cast is a smaller cast than the others. Um, but only in quantity, not in size. They are some of the largest trueborn around. Uh, they have got a, they've, they've had a neutral Zen mentality from the prehistory of the Jagiri. When things got bad a long time ago, they put themselves into hibernation until, until things would settle down. Well, sabotage happens and they ended up not waking up for a very long time. And now that they're awake and now that they're up and about and paying attention to the wars around them, they feel it necessary to bring some of that stalwart tenacity to the battlefield and restore order where chaos has kind of reigned before. The Dragiri themselves, overall as a faction, you, you pick one of those sub-factions, one of those elemental castes to be, but the leader of their entire faction has said that everybody's gotta work together just a little bit. So in any army that you field, you actually get a chance to bring up to 150 points of the honorable trueborn from these other casts over to come on your side to, for a battle. So even if you really are an ice cast player or an air cast player, but you really like this one other model from another cast, you could still go and grab one model for a particular game or maybe find that one combo that no one else knew about.